showing that there is structure, that there is order, that the vacuum is dividing in very specific relationships. And when we start to look at the relationship between the divisions of the data points, we found that the relationships were very close to phi ratios. The phi ratio is found everywhere in nature. When you look at your hand, your, the end of your finger is 1.618, which is the phi ratio, smaller than the second part of your finger. And the second part is 1.618, smaller than the third part. And your hand relative to your forearm, your arms relative to your body, and so on. Those uh, Fibonacci sequence or phi ratios are found everywhere in nature, in plants, in, in flowers, the branches of a tree, the roots of a tree, the nervous system of your body, all of the division that produces all of the arteries and the veins of your body and so on. All phi ratios, all Fibonacci series. The phi ratio is evident even beyond where our eyes can see. The most recent discovery confirmed that the phi ratio exists even at the atomic level. Researchers in Germany observed that a chain of atoms acts like a nanoscale musical instrument, whereby the phi ratio seems to be the preferred division of the musical notes. So it was remarkable to find it on such a huge scale. It indicated that the scaling law was correct, that the structure is evident and it is present even on enormous scale. Where is the structure coming from? Most likely from the structure of the vacuum itself, the division of the vacuum. It was clear to me that the vacuum must have fundamental structure. There was another data point that was very interesting. When you take the biological resolution, the microtubules, which are small entities that make up the structure of cells. They are much, much, much larger than atoms, but they oscillate at a very high rate, 10 to the 11 to 10 to the 14 hertz. So we plotted the microtubules on our scaling law. And sure enough, amazingly, it almost landed on the linear progression perfectly and divided the scale almost in the middle between the extremely large and the extremely small. There was this biological entity that makes up the biological world as if biology, as if your structure is the boundary condition that divides the extremely large to the extremely small. You are the event horizon. it started to make sense that all this organization would include the biological structure. Because when we see our biological world, when we see our environment, when we see our biosphere, it's highly organized and these phi ratios are found everywhere. 